it's been a nice day outside, a little windy though. Uh, not a ton of sunshine, but we're starting to see the clouds clear a bit on our Duncan Oil Company camera there in Springfield. On our satellite radar imagery, we had some cumulus clouds, fair weather cumulus clouds, not producing any rain this afternoon or evening. And now those are clearing out. We're starting to just see some high thin clouds, kind of those zero stratus clouds uh, continuing across our skies this evening. It's 81 degrees right now in Dayton, 80 in Springfield, 81 degrees in Troy. We've already dipped into the 70s from Greenville to Wapakoneta to Bell Fountain. Cooler air is on the way. Notice temperatures 11 degrees uh, below what uh, Lafayette saw this same time yesterday there into Indiana. But we're starting to see our temperature drop a bit in Dayton too, or one degree cooler than the same time yesterday. A cold front has moved through. This has pushed all the moisture uh, from Laura out of the region. We're going to be dealing with nice weather as we look ahead to tomorrow. Starting with tonight, 56 degrees for your low early tomorrow morning. It'll be less humid and cooler even for your high tomorrow. 78 degrees, very enjoyable day with the low normal temperatures. Winds will calm overnight. We're looking at a northeast wind tomorrow, two to seven miles per hour. So it's been a little bit humid out there. We're going to see smiles return, at least to our emojis, hopefully to your face too, with pleasant conditions during the day tomorrow as our dew points drop back into the 50s. It'll be great out there. Looking at our winds, though, they have been a little bit breezy today, 14 miles per hour right now out of the northwest. West here in Dayton. We're going to keep those northerly winds overnight, but notice by 11 p.m. we'll start to see the winds calm down a bit. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll see winds around five miles per hour. That will continue during the day on Sunday, so not too windy tomorrow. Temperatures awesome. We'll be in the 70s by 1, 11 a.m. tomorrow morning and then notice we'll stay there in the mid to upper 70s much of your afternoon and evening. It's going to be a great day to spend some time outdoors. Don't forget the sunscreen though. Even though those temperatures will be cooler and enjoyable, you are going to want to make sure uh, that you're wearing the sunscreen because look at this future track. A lot of sunshine for tomorrow. We may still see some of those high thin clouds, but overall mostly sunny skies, but Monday that starts to change. We'll see the the clouds return Monday night and into Monday afternoon. A low chance for some rain. Most of that looks to stay just to our east on Monday. Rain chances start to pick up Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Notice it's Wednesday it looks to be our wettest day of the week. And here's why. Starting on Tuesday, we are going to start to see a cold front uh, move into the area. This front's going to move kind of slowly, keeping the chance for rain in the area both Wednesday and Thursday as well. Once that front passes to our southeast, we'll start to dry out and look at those temperatures on Friday back in the 70s once again with partly sunny skies. So we've got good weather for next weekend. A little bit of a chance of rainfall over the week with temperatures back around normal, if not a couple of degrees above normal, which is around 81 degrees now. And we've got two days with highs in the 70s. Your high tomorrow once again, 78 degrees. We will start off the day with lows in the 50s tonight.